You could almost say this review is a year in the making because I've actually had this deck about a year now. I skated it three weeks way back when, and recently I've skated for another two to three weeks on this deck as well. And today, I'm just gonna go over my review, wear test, and some of the details and features, and just overall what I think of uh, the April skateboard that I've ridden on and off for about a year now. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're going well wherever you are. And I didn't really think I'll be doing this review because originally I just put the deck away after skating for that three weeks and I thought I'd just, I'd never use it again. But I did recently pull it out because I had no other option. Uh, it was like I needed a spare deck and I needed some of the ride. It still had a lot of meat left on it. And like, so I thought, chuck, uh, chuck some other new trucks on there that I hadn't tried before put it back together and ridden it and yeah, well, here we are doing the review for it. I originally didn't really skate this deck too much because honestly, like straight up, I really didn't like it. Pretty much hated it to be honest. So I tucked it away, but I think I'll put that down to a couple of few, few a couple of, a couple of few things, a few different things. I'll put that down to a couple of few different things. One of those things was like the tail is quite short, which is actually 6.56. A lot of tails I skate are more like on the 7 point or 6.7 and upwards, which personally that like I enjoy. One with the overall length of the deck, this one's actually only like 30.1, uh, 31.77. It's quite shorter than usual. It has a wheelbase of 14 inches, which the, a, ship, a 14 inch wheelbase shouldn't bother me too much really. Um, because like it is, it does shrink in the wheelbase. If you're like that little bit taller, you might struggle, but I've ridden the girl decks. The girl decks, I can manage on that. It was just something really odd about this deck. Decks width was 8.125, but these April decks actually measure as an 8.19. It's odd, but I don't really mind it. I don't hate it, definitely. I actually, if anything, I prefer that bigger size because going from an 8.25 to an an April, an April 8.125, like you don't, you won't notice the width any, like anything, like going down a size, I guess it is going down a size, you won't notice it at all. I originally tried this deck both on Indies and Thunders. Indies straight up sucked, did not enjoy it at all. Like I was missing, mistiming all my tricks. I just didn't really have a good time. I thought the Thunders sort of would solve that issue, but oddly it didn't, especially for me, because I generally enjoy riding indies. I mean, I mean, giant riding thunders. I thought the thunders would have worked perfectly on this deck between like that 14 inch wheelbase. It's not really a mellow deck. It's probably a medium kick deck. But when you're watching Shane O'Neill skate, like his April deck with thunders, you're like, fuck, it's just like magic. And you're like, surely that can work for me. But clearly it doesn't. I just really think that I was just like really cramped on this deck, especially going touching back on the indies. The indies really made me feel cramped on this deck. Like I was like, I was just too big. It's like I was riding a kid's, kid's deck. Though so this time around, I chucked some ventures on it with some really small wheels, like small as in 46 mil Spitfires. And by far, this has been the best truck and wheel setup that I've actually had on this deck. It has worked really well for me personally. It can require a little bit more extra effort to pop, especially because being the venture factor, but small wheels really helps and it makes that really like makes the short tail and short wheelbase really manageable with this truck and wheel combo of the ventures and the like the Spitfire wheels or just small wheels in general. You don't need to have Spitfires, but with that combo on the deck, it just made me not feel so cramped on the deck and like. I could actually skate it like comfortably. The deck shapes itself is quite nice. The happy medium and that little fuller tail and nose, almost like the girl Geo 52 like. And that's the original reason why I picked it up. But I also picked it up because of the Shane O'Neill factor because he is probably one of my favorite skaters and he is also from Melbourne. So when you put those two things together and when he creates a board company, it's just, I think like, and actually I just have to try that deck. Durability wise, it has been pretty solid, especially for my elephant landing that I always do because I'm very heavy footed, especially when I've been trying to like do some built board slides on some curbs and stuff like that, small gaps, all that type of stuff. It's held up really well. And it's also been ticking a lot of good boxes that it's been holding up with doing all my slappies into curbs and all that type of stuff. No chips, no, uh, yeah, no chips or anything like that. Sorry, we got like a, a friend that's interrupted here. Um, 
Yeah, so I was starting to get into like a lot of slappy tricks and like on the slappy curbs. It's been holding up really well there. So that has been, the durability has been really good. It's quite stiff. It has really that traditional BBS stiff feeling, if you know what that is. Like BBS decks, really stiff, hold their stiffness, and this is no exception. So for the life of the deck, for me personally, I hadn't really experienced any sogginess of the deck. It really held its shape. It held, held its characteristics. Mm, I don't know if that's right. Characteristics. Held all them nicely throughout the life of its deck. The life of its deck? The deck of its life? The deck's life, throughout the deck's life. Skating wise, after I found the right truck and wheel combo, I actually really did enjoy sk like skating on this deck. Like I find myself like getting into like more tricks and like more gr like grinds and stuff like, like that. Like, 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 like. Getting myself into more grinds like crooked stalls and stuff like that, which I had been working on and got this like little crooked stall like shove out, which I was, well, it's not the cleanest, but I'm still pretty happy with it. And I also landed my first hospital flip Spew and I didn't get it on film, but there was there people who saw it. I do swear, I couldn't believe how clean it was and they couldn't believe how clean it was either. And I tried to get another one and then I pre-moed. Um, that's skateboarding for you. Straight up, I pretty much just hated this deck straight out. But after I sort of tweaked it and found out my the new best combo for it, I really did enjoy it. And I actually bought another April deck. I've got an 8.25 which hopefully that would work a little bit better. Like, I don't know, I don't, my, my theories in my head of what will work is maybe not working of late, if that makes sense, because the anti-hero that I thought on paper sounded great has just not been working for the way I skate. But, and that's why I guess I have a lot of skate parts and stuff like that too. Like, like a lot of people only have one set of trucks in their, in their garage or on their decks. I have three different trucks because you don't want, I don't want to call it anal, maybe it's, it's called, it's called gear madness. So it's like a set of truck, like if I don't have a set, a set of trucks, that April deck, this April deck, like would never been ridden again. Lucky I have some ventures. I have some small wheels and it's become a really enjoyable deck to skate again. But this new 8.25 April is going to be that little bit longer with that 14 inch wheelbase. So you're going to have a longer, a longer tail and nose as well. Same great shape. I'm gonna chuck it back on ventures with some smallish wheels. I might try and find some 51 or 52s, not as small as like 46. And yeah, we'll go from there on that deck. And for most people who are actually wanting to try April, I'd probably suggest going that 8.25. You'll get that little bit longer deck, so you might not feel so cramped on there and give you like a nice range of options to try different trucks as well. Along with that girl shape and girl feeling of the deck, but it does have stiffer wood than girls. So keep that in mind. You'll get that BBS stiffness with April decks. But as usual, we're gonna leave this one here. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment if you skated April or also what decks like I should skate. I always uh, keeping my eye out on the new decks. But until the next video guys, I hope you stay well and I'll see you then. Peace.